Hi everyone, Nicole showed me this picture the other day and told me it was created by pouring hot water over Skittles. Now this got me thinking, can we do the same thing with resin? We're about to find out. Now the first step in making this Skittles dish is to pour ourselves a base layer. And I'm gonna do that inside this five liter bucket. Now the resin I'll be using for this one is Artcast. It's an epoxy resin, and I'm gonna mix up about 800 mils. So now that I've got the resin in, it's time to pop it in the pressure pot. Now I'm not gonna run pot cam for this one, since it will be a bit boring. I'm gonna wait until we've got a bit of color. While I was putting this in the pressure pot, I remembered that I wanted to add a blue tint to the base layer. So I took it back out and I mixed in some alcohol ink. Now let's take a look. Might need a hammer. So now that we have our base layer, the next thing I need to do is cut a groove for the skittles to sit in. Now I'm going to do that on the lathe, so I need to glue on a waste block. If you have to glue to a smooth surface like this, make sure you scratch it up so the glue can make a good bond. Here I'm creating a dish so the resin can flow towards the middle, hopefully bringing the skittle colours with it. So now that I've given it a quick sand, it's time to work out how many skittles we need. Look at that, I've got two left over. Hmm, not bad. Thirty-three. So now that we know how many Skittles we need, I'm going to group them into colours. I think it's going to look better if we keep all the colours together, that way it doesn't turn into a brown mess. Now we've got five even groups of six making up thirty and we need three more. So I think I'm going to add another green, orange and yellow. Looks like I've got too many out the bag. 
guess they're mine. What's your favourite flavour? Mine's a strawberry. Let me know in the comments. So let me quickly explain how I plan on doing this. I'm going to mix up some resin and then I'm going to put it in the vacuum chamber. I'm going to try and take out as much air as possible and then put a thin layer of resin in this groove. I'm then going to put all the skittles on top of that and then I'm going to wait for the resin to heat up. Once it does, I'm going to pour it over the top and hopefully we can get all the colours to run. While I'm waiting for that resin to degas, I'm just going to put some tape around the edge of here, just in case we spill some resin. Okay, now that we've got some nice clear resin, I'm going to pour a thin layer in the groove and start setting the skittles. You can see me stuffing that up. I'm going to put some in a smaller cup. What's your predictions for this one? Do you think it's going to work? Or do you think we'll just have a big mess? Wow, how pretty does that look? You'll notice that I've switched to a white background. That's so we can see the colours a bit better. Now all we have to do is wait for our resin to heat up. And once it gets quite warm, we'll start pouring it all over the skittles. And then hopefully the colour starts to come off and run all towards the centre. We're starting to heat up now, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Well, I think it's warm enough now. Let's give it a go. Well, I can't see any colours coming off yet. Maybe it'll take a little bit. Let's try adding a bit more resin. Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little disappointed. It doesn't look like any colours coming off. Maybe I should have used M&M's. Well, there's not too much I can do about it now. I'm just going to pour the rest of this resin over. We'll set up a time lapse and we'll see if anything does happen. Well, there you go. Something happened, all right. Well, that was a lucky save. Well, as you can see, we didn't get that nice color effect. So I think I'm gonna to have to do my own experiment. I've got myself a plate and some Skittles, and I'm gonna try it myself with some hot water. But before we do that, I am gonna pour a top layer over the top of this, because I'm not gonna waste it. We may as well stick it on the lathe and turn it into something. So while I was degassing my resin, I had a thought about maybe trying to replicate the results. I've got myself some alcohol inks here, and I was thinking about maybe putting a few drops around before we add the next lot of resin. Now I know this way is kind of cheating, but if you guys can think of how we can do it using the resin, let me know in the comments. I think this is going to be a good experiment in itself. I wonder how well this is going to work. Okay, let's pour the resin on. And 
Not looking too bad. I think I'll give it a little helping hand. I really like that. What do you guys think? Well, now that our resin is nice and hard, it's time to turn it into something we can use. I'm going to put this on the lathe and turn it down. Hopefully I don't go too deep because we don't want to touch these skittles. I think that looks pretty good. Now it's time to give it a sand. Well it's now time to check out the skittle art. Now I'm not too sure what I'm going to use it for. I think it might make a good stand for something. And if you guys think it looks good, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Now let's check it out. I nearly forgot to try my own experiment. Let's pour some hot water over these. Well there you go, it does work. Now we just gotta figure out how to do it with resin. 